Hello guys, it's Jackson here. Welcome back to another video. And today, so I'm actually going to be doing a different type of video. And instead of like, you know, joining a server and talking trash about it, I'm actually going to be doing kind of a script tutorial. Kind of a basic script thing. Because a lot of people are on Mina and they had no idea how to script. But it's probably one of the most useful things um, that a developer can use. So I'm just going to show you guys some of the basics. And so let's get on with it. I do want to point out though that you can leave a comment below if you have a question on anything I say or anything I don't say that you want to know about. And maybe I'll make a part two of this video, but I can personally help you if you need. And yeah, so just leave a comment below if you need any help. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your world and then you want to go onto the Minehut web panel. I think that's what it's called. And so oh, I'm going to head to it real quick. So once you're at your web panel, you're going to want to go to plugins. And then uh, you can search right here, you can type script if you want to, and it'll show you script and all of the add-ons. There's tons of add-ons you can do. So you want to get script, and you can choose the add-ons you want. A lot of them add just like basic features, like uh, Skelet, I definitely recommend Skelet. And SK Query is also a really good one. And SK Rayfall is useful if you want to do specific stuff. Um, I'm not going to be using it in this tutorial, so I'm not going to get it. And basically you can read all of these, you can click their website and stuff to see what they add. And basically they're all pretty useful so once you enable that you're like download them you're gonna have to restart your server so i already have them installed so i'm not gonna have to do that but i'm gonna go to my file manager and then you're gonna want to go to your plugins you want to scroll down to find script then you want to click the scripts and then this is the folder of scripts these are just a bunch of basic ones that are like auto in the game if they have a dash in the front that means they're not enabled so you want to create a new one uh, so you can click new file right here so you can type it so i'm just going to type tutorial Dot sk and then you want to click save and then you can come down here you can go to it and then now this is where you're going to edit your script one really useful thing that you can use is you can use the script documentation there's this website right here that i will leave in the description that you can go to and there's all different stuff so you have events conditions and effects which are the main things and then variables are also useful and then you can look over the custom commands but the custom commands use all the other stuff and so events are like on break block, on place block, stuff like that, on kill, on death. Conditions are like if the player is holding like a diamond weapon instead of like an iron and stuff. And then effects are what happens when you do it. So like let's say an explosion goes off or something like that. And then variables are used to store information. Uh, that's kind of like more of an advanced thing. And then custom commands are just, you know, new commands that you can add. So I'm going to go to the events and then I'm going to scroll down to the on break slash mine. And so you can just copy one of these lines right here. These are the examples. So if we copy that and then we go back, I uh, actually, okay, there we go. We're in it. Um, and then you can paste that in there. So on mine of any or, uh, but we're going to change this on mine of, let's say, uh, diamond or, and then you want to put a colon. And then you want to go down, you want to put two spaces and let's do if, players held item is uh, let's say stone pickaxe and then so this is just another thing that you can find in the documentation if players held item it would be in the conditions and so this is going to do on mine a di of a diamond ore and then if the player is holding a stone pickaxe then we go down and then you don't want to do four this time it's going to do what is right here so let's say message you would need a better pickaxe to mine this. Um, and then the ANSI is a color, so it's going to be red. And then to player. So what this, what the player is, is the player is basically like, it's kind of like a variable. But what it, it, the player just is the player that mines the diamond ore. So it messages that to the player. And then it's going to cancel event. And what that will do is it'll make it so the diamond ore actually doesn't get mined. So it'll message it to the player and then the diamond ore will still be there. So, okay, we're going to do that. And then we're going to actually go back to Minecraft. You know, we can alt tab there. Uh, and I need to set up my scene. Uh, there we go. We got it. Okay, we got it. Um, so you want to do slash script. Oh, if I could type reload and then the script name. So mine is tutorial. I don't know what you guys named it, but script reload and then the name. And then it'll reload it. And then it'll say sex successfully reloaded if it's, you know, um, if all the like if it looks correct to the the bot that that scans over it if there's an error then it'll tell you what line the error is on and you can go look at it and then so we're going to get a stone pickaxe because uh, we got to test it right you know and then um we're going to get a diamond ore 
and then so if we mine it, if we go into survival mode and we mine this, it should message us in. Yep, okay, so it's still back and it says you need a better pickaxe to mine this. Okay, so that means our script is working. So actually next what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom command. And so you want to do is you want to go a few lines below this on my diamond ore. Um, I, you guys probably aren't going to keep it, but you can if you want to. So we're going to go a little bit down. And then so this is actually what everything does. You can read through it. It's on the documentation, but I'm going to explain these things. So, uh, so you want to do, um, I'm going to go down a little bit more. And then you want to type command and then you want to do the command. So we're going to do uh, a slash spawn command. Um, it's in essentials, but... And then slash spawn, and then we're going to do player. And so what that'll do is you just slash spawn and then a player's name. And then, yeah, so you can set the arguments. You can set multiple. It, you can pretty much do anything with the arguments. Uh, but So we got the arguments, and you want to go down, uh, do two spaces. Uh, there's actually more at the top. I copied it off the documentation, and I guess they use tabs probably. Uh, but you want to go down and then do two spaces. And then we could do a description, which is when you do slash help, it, when it shows all the commands, it shows you the description. So description, uh, let's do teleports player to spawn. And then, um, okay, we're going to go down to, uh, and then I'm going to go down to permission uh, slash, or permission, um, let's say, spawn.command. This is the permission the player needs to use the command. So if don't use it if you want everyone to be able to use the command. And then um, permission message, we're not going to do that, but that tells the player that like you can't do this. And then um, executable by, uh, we're going to allow this one to be used by everyone. By that I mean like players and the console. You can set it to just console or just players. And then aliases, that's actually what else the person can do. So we're going to do slash s it is what an alias would be so instead of slash spawn you could also do slash s and then last but not least um trigger that's the most important part that's actually what your command is going to do so um for this one we want it to teleport to the player to spawn so we're going to use a, a teleport effect so i don't actually know what the teleport effect is but that's okay because i have the documentation so you're going to want to click effects and then it'll probably be in here um we gotta find it. Teleport. There we go. Teleport. Teleport the player to. And then so we can copy this right here. And we're gonna go back to our thing. And then teleport the player to. And then this is actually we're gonna set a variable. We're gonna set it to the variable spawn. And then now we gotta actually make a thing that gives the spawn variable some coordinates so we can actually set the spawn. Um, yeah, so. Um, I'm going to do that real quick. So now we're going to do another command. We're going to do command slash set the spawn. Slash set spawn is actually another command. Actually, I'm going to change this to uh, uh, go spawn. Because uh, I have essentials installed and I don't want it to conflict and stuff. Um, you might be able to override it, but I just want to be careful. Uh, so slash set the spawn. And then we're going to set the permission to spawn.set. And then aliases... Um, we don't actually need any aliases, that's fine. And then trigger. And then we're going to do set spawn to location of player. And so uh, we're going to save it. Then we're going to go back into Minecraft. So we're back in Minecraft. Uh, if OBS, are you going <laughs> to... There we go, OBS. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back in Creative. And then um, if we reload the script again script reload tutorial okay unknown type arguments well we we messed something up so the problem is that we had all that other stuff up here which explained everything but that wasn't actually correct code so i i got rid of that and so if we save it again and then we go back to minecraft um, I wasn't even recording the website, but I got rid of it. I didn't even change anything else. So we're going to reload it and yep, it works this time. So, uh, let's, um, slash set the spawn is what I set the command to. So it should have set the spawn there. And then, so if I do slash, um, go spawn, uh, and then my name should teleport me exactly to where I was looking, the exact place I was looking, exact location I was. And you can set up messages and stuff. If you want to make it easier for your commands. Um, but yeah, I already showed you guys how to do that with a diamond ore, so I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. So um, this next part of the tutorial, I'm actually going to show you guys something that is just for fun. 
Uh, so we're going to do on right click holding a golden hoe. So this will only happen if you're holding a golden hoe. And then let's say shoot TNT at speed 3. And so we're going to save that. We're going to go to Minecraft. You got to change my OBS to Minecraft. And then we're going to reload the script. And okay. And so if I get a golden hoe. Let's see if it works. And it, <laughs> that, that's a lot faster than I was expecting. Uh, but um, so uh, so this is a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, you can do all kinds of creative stuff with script. And there, there's all different kinds of things you can do. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Or if it helped you. And leave a comment if you have any questions. And also, um, if you want me to make a second part, leave a comment below. And so, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.